Well, I guess it's time we start fixing this old Martin. I'm just messing with you. If we were gonna weld on it, we'd use a TIG welder. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I am James and uh, we are finally getting to this Martin Triple O X1 AE made in the Mexico. Um, solid spruce top and some interesting stuff on the side. Plastic, plastic coated plywood maybe. Um, Anyways, as you can see, uh, it has some issues. The big crack is there. There's a little crack here. There's another little crack, actually a couple of cracks right here where it's kind of sunken in. Um, there's another little one right there. That's just continuation of that one. <clears throat> sides split apart here. Uh, you will maybe notice something when we flip it over. Yeah, it's not supposed to rattle like that. Um, so we had to take the back of it off. Um, and we luckily we have a split on the side. It's not often you say that. Luckily the back is separated from the sides. And we have about this much entry into it. So we're going to use our friend the iron and we're going to slowly start working some heat in here and trying to get that adhesive to uh, to loosen up. That's the only that's the only separation uh, on the whole back. Um, it's there's no binding on this. This black edge that you see on it, whatever it is they're using, this composite um, they're using for the back and sides, it's got a black core to it. So it looks like what they've done is they, they just glue it together and then they just just route off a little, uh, just a little edge and it looks like binding. Anyways, let's get the iron fired up and start doing something. This requires the thing that I don't have a whole lot of and that's patience. If I had to guess, I'd say we've got a brace right there. I'm kind of catching, probably catching the edge of that. <clears throat> Unless you got an iron just like this, might not mean anything. I'm on setting five, which is kind of on the border between dry heat and steam. I don't have any water in it. We're just wanting the heat. just do this for the next hour ish plus see right there sure enough it's where we were kind of caught up for a minute there's a little notch cut out so the brace can fit into the curve lining there all right we've kind of worked our way around here um, I took a temperature reading uh, this iron is running 350 to 370 uh, on the temperature scale now we're, we're back here so now we're gonna have a tail block we're gonna have a bigger mass I can actually, you can actually kind of feel it hump up a little bit right there. So now we're going to have to try to get our heat into, instead of this little thin quarter inch area, we're not going to have to get it an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half or so up there. So we'll turn this around and we'll use this part of the iron. And again, just more excitement. Um, 
If you're doing it right, there are a lot more boring times working on these things than exciting puckering moments, although we have our share of them. All right, we're trucking along. It is, it's coming apart really clean. Uh, meaning that uh, it, there doesn't appear to be a lot of tear out along uh, the kerf lining. Uh, this tail block, it's plywood. Um, as much as I would love to only repair vintage instruments, solid wood, hide glue, traditional craftsmanship, um, and this is this is this is certainly my opinion. You can take it for probably twice what you paid for it. If you're going to be in the re guitar repair business, uh, you might want to get. Might want to get used to working with plywood and whatever they call this. It's like melamine. Uh, plastic top. That's why I'm, I'm being really conservative on, I think, the amount of heat that I'm putting in here because I would love to find one of these wrecked. I mean, just totally shattered on, uh, on the Ebays. Just for the purpose of testing it. You know, I'd like to um, I'd like to get a calibrated um, soldering iron and start seeing at what point we can uh, subject this top to before we start uh, we start to melt through. Because that might be handy information to have. What do you think? If you see one on the eBay for a buck two ninety nine, let me know. Now we're in the same, not a pickle, same situation up here at the top. We're going to have a block in here. I'm going to take a wild guess that it's going to be plywood. So it's just a, it's just a larger thermal mass. We'll have to heat up. That'll take a little bit of time. And this is just a, just a piece of a cotton t-shirt. I will have to say that so far, there's like, I mean, there's like nothing. I can't see any sign on the top so far that we've been here. You know, with, uh, with lacquer finishes and high glue, a lot of times you're using steam in conjunction with your heat. And that does all kinds of fun stuff with uh, with nitro, but yeah, there's there's nothing so far. And getting it back together, yeah, we'll see.
Not that you would know there's anything loose inside there. Tenacious. There we go. Here, who's not cooperating? Ah, there it is. All right, place your bets. Let's see what we got. That is cracked. Let's see if we can get a good angle to dangle here for this. That's split. We could just re glue that. That should go back. No biggie. And that is probably about the worst on the back. interesting kind of you know in, in a lot of plywood they'll put a they'll put a, a very thin finish ply and then you know one two three four five structural plies and then on the inside they'll put another finish ply and they've not done this you've got your finished plastic which is I'm assuming it's printed on there um, and then on the inside you have just, just the substrate of whatever it is. It has this, don't crucify me when I say this, it has this grain look to it. Um, but it's obviously not, not a wood grain pattern. Um, that's interesting, so you've got this Take a look at this glue patch that didn't quite make it all the way. That's kind of it's kind of crappy. This one looks close. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's look on the inside here. And feeler gauges. What does that say? Hmm, that's interesting. It says here, C.F. Martin, Mexico, except it's stamped in there backwards. It's a little odd. Uh, there's something else that's kind of interesting. They got the, the logo on the bridge plate. This looks like the, you know, it's like the old, the old Shatten wheels. 
So that looks like it was glued. Or just adhesived on there. Okay, what the? Get that back on there. And then, in theory, so that's going to be pressed in. All right. So let's look. That is intact. This is intact. Finger braces are okay. That is, this is loose. Huh, that's interesting. Little channels cut out. Little hole for your truss rod adjustment. That's interesting. Um, this is loose all the way across. This X brace is loose to about here. Um, let's turn it up. Maybe you can see a little bit better there. So we're cracked here all the way down. Looks like we're missing a couple of pieces there. Split, 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 split. Missing a couple of teeth there. Split, split, split. Split, split, split. Down along there. Everything on this side looks okay. So, hmm. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, just trying to figure out where it impacted. So from this side, you can obviously see this split. I can feel that split there. I can feel this one here. So all right, that is, uh, that's what we're starting with. That is the Martin Triple O X one AE with the solid spruce top, uh, made in the Mexico. And we got the back off. So now we're gonna make our list of Repairs we have to affect to it, and then we'll get on it. Anyways, that's what's going on. Um, uh, if you found this entertaining or informational, uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. That's a good thing. You can share it if you want to. <clears throat> Man, this is just, this is an interesting construction up here. Yeah. See you next time. Cheers. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle King Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.